Taking a look at today's equity index futures markets, let's look at the S&P 500 future as it's realizing some volatility here as we move towards the holiday weekend. S&P 500 futures initially higher after the report this morning, the non-farm payrolls report. But then as we move through the session, some selling pressure has uh, kicked in and we are now seeing most of the major futures markets now lower on the session and pushing back down towards the uh, monthly lows as we continue to realize some selling pressure. Now, looking at uh, the reaction initially this morning, non-farm payrolls came out. Number was pretty much in line with expectations. And I think that's a little bit outside of what has occurred the last couple of months as we have witnessed those numbers come in stronger and or weaker than what the market had anticipated and the market reacting uh, significantly to that. Today, the number's pretty much in line. I think the expectations were the possibility that it could be a very strong number. When it was not, we did see a positive reaction in the equity markets. Also, the wage component within that data point was lower than expected. So I think that was another factor contributing to why we did see some relief rally initially today coming off the heels of yesterday's reversal in the markets. And the S&P 500 futures were up over 1%. However, as we move through the session, it appears that the momentum in the market and some of the general trends that the markets experienced in the last month took hold. And we are now realizing some selling pressure here and pushing down on the session for all the major equity index futures markets. Now, looking at the general trends, uh, we came off of uh, those lows from yesterday, and we did see the S&P 500 future push up to that 50-day moving average. A lot of market technicians like to watch that as far as a momentum indicator. However, unable to really pierce through there this morning, and now we're seeing some selling pressure and pushing us back down towards the lows of the week and as well as the lows of the last month. And we're seeing that play out really across all the major equity index futures markets. So it appears that the news this morning, although well received initially, is now being sold and we're seeing selling pressure as we close out the week.